Welcome. Hello, Carl. Hi. Good. So you're going to be telling me about this uh, Kingspan new cool duct adhesive. Yes. So today we're going to be talking about the uh, the Tensor Grip H40 okay. spray contact adhesive available in the 22 litre canister, which is uh, applied via the uh, the gun and hose system like this. Okay. And then we've got the aerosol product as well. Key product being the canister for the reasons that we'll go over today. So. So just, just so I'm aware, okay, prior to obviously doing this like, you know, you're going to be showing me a spray adhesive doing these joints, how were they doing this before? So traditional methods for, um, for bonding these, um, these V-grooves, um, if it's, a, if it's a, just a square section, yeah. rectangular section, and um, also for the curves, um, typical traditional application would be actually by brush, so you'd be brushing on adhesive. That seems to be what the, uh, what, what the, trade, what, what the trade guys are using, the, the, the cool duct fabricators. The delivery partners as Kingspan call them. Yeah. Okay, so this is what they've tra traditionally been using. Now, the benefits of the canister system are many, okay? okay. Many and so, varied. So, cut into the so, chase, okay? Show me how this product works. So, this product, as I say, the canister system sprays via gun and hose, okay? okay. Fully adjustable, very can adjustable. You show me how okay, it Certain, it certainly can. So, we've got a bit of cardboard here, and this wheel here on the gun, adjust the width of the spray pattern. Okay, so I hold the, I hold the gun approximately six inches off the, off the deck, yep. okay? And I've got a fully adjustable spray pattern, okay? You'll notice that it is very direct. So how do I adjust it? This wheel here will adjust it right from approximately, you can get down to about an inch, yep. okay? Or if you open it right up for, the, for any, any bigger panels. So there's okay? no serious overspray or anything like that? No. no. This is one of the big common misconceptions about spray, and de spray adhesive is overspray yeah, yeah. and mess. Okay. okay. Fantastic. And it's one of the things that the delivery partners that I've been to so far out in the market have been very, very impressed with is how directional it is, yeah. and and, the, and how how clean a product it actually is. So it will open up to a much wider spray pattern if you need it to. You better be careful, otherwise that's going to go right over the top of that. It could go wild. Nah, it's very controllable. It's okay. very controllable. Okay, so, so let's do this thing, man. So I'm going to um, I'm going to lay these out now, um, in a way that I can. Spray them best, probably about like that, if that's okay. So mind your, trou mind your trousers, Carl. Okay. Yeah, um, so I'll just slip over this one. Yeah, excellent. And we'll just get the uh, get the gun adjusted correctly. Now we've obviously... Yeah, um, the one to on it. yeah very good point, Carl. So um, I've worked with the guys at, at Pembridge at Kingspan and experimented with a lot of um, different methods of applying glue, okay? Yeah, yeah. And on the um, on the curve section, yeah. um, we are looking at essentially three coats. Okay, so that's actually six passes. Okay, because one coat would be along and back, so that would be one coat. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my, my my spray pattern is adjusted correctly so that I can take in the width, two widths at the same time. Yeah. Obviously, efficiency of spray and everything, and Absolutely. speed of ap application and production, etc. So I'll be starting around here, and I'll be moving around. Okay. okay, and back. Okay, so that's what we call one one, one, one coat, yeah. two passes. All right. Okay, so I'll just give that a few seconds. Yeah. Is that just to make sure it sort of like tacks out a little bit? Exactly. So basically, there is an element of um, porosity to the to this substrate. Yeah. So a certain amount is soaking in. So that this is kind of a bit of a, the the base coat, primer coat I'm yeah. putting on here. Okay. So, so does that uh, that basically effectively gets into the into the into the formal core basically? Totally it combines it, and yeah. then you put your top coats on top. Exactly, to basically give you the adhesion. Exactly, okay. and and the importance of it is, is that obviously if you just put one coat on, it, it it's glue on the surface that performs the bond. Okay. Clearly, if it's soaking in, it's not going to be doing a fat lot. Okay? okay, so I'm ready to put my uh, my second coat on now. So I'll um, I'll just move my way around. Okay, so and coat. and back. So that's the second coat. Now, whilst that one's actually tacking off, okay. And obviously, in fabrication, I've seen guys um, actually stacking these up way up like this, so yeah. you can you can be They're very yeah, up. so you can get very 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 efficient at this. So look, this glue you'll see I sprayed these, but I've got no problem in sliding them over each other. Okay. So uh, where where a liquid applied would be very messy, yeah. wherever it touches, sticky. I haven't got this issue. I can I can I can put that on there even. It's not actually yeah. causing an issue. Okay. Yeah, which is uh, another benefit. Um, so it's a very very user friendly system. Okay. So I'll then. Put my coat on the inside curve. Okay, 
and what we'll do now. It's, well. it's, it is very controllable. It's very controllable and it's like I say, it's a common misconception with the spray but these are developed over years and years and we do have these spray patterns right under control now, Carl. They're, um, so thing. could you actually spray this now whilst this is actually drying off so you've actually effectively, yeah? Yeah, I mean this has obviously had long enough to have its last coat now so what I'll do is I'll just go in, in with my last coat here. Sorted. That's that sorted on that face, okay? So now I'm just going to swivel these round. Put the second coat on these. Okay. And whilst that's just having a, a chance to tack out, here's my, uh, here's my radius, um, radius curves, okay? So I've got on... Uh, I've got on this has obviously got kinks in this. Is it, is it critical to sort of like... So we've got an inner and outer here, okay, and the um, the system that the Kingspan guys will be using, mm -hmm. that seem to be using out there, is they will be uh, crimping and pre-stressing the corner sections, okay? okay? Well, Obviously, this stuff is relatively thick, okay, yeah. and it's going around is some... This, the, this is the thicker one, isn't it? It they is. Do, do two comes, in, comes in two thicknesses, okay, so this is the thicker version. Am I right. right in saying that the, the thicker version is more difficult to actually put together with this adhesive? Correct, correct. So this is kind of a bit of a worst case scenario that we're, okay. we're, we're going straight in the deep end, Carl. Okay, cool. Okay, so we'll um, drop that down onto there. Again, nice. You want me to hold that down? Yeah, as long as you don't value your fingernails too much. Okay, so we'll just coat the, the short face there and then top up the short face. So can you imagine, Carl, compared to getting a brush on here, Yep. And loading up with adhesive, yep. I'm sailing along it. Yep. Yeah, by comparison. Again, totally free to move straight away. So I can, I can go onto here and swivel it round. Get my first coat on there. Quick coat on the uh, the longer stretch there. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put my final third coat on the. Um, on the inside radius of the curved sections. What, what would happen, okay, is um, if you literally just went, you know, just applied all of those three coats, three double coats, yep. straight on and not weighted. Is that a big deal, or can I just wait until the, 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 the solvent just evaporates so that I've now got glue that's ready to go? No, the, 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 as I say, this is a porous substrate, okay? okay? So there is method in layering it up in three coats. You yeah, wouldn't. But it's still a lot quicker than brushing it on, right? Certainly. Um, but the point is, is that if you layered, if you ladled this on in, in one in one pass yeah okay what you'd get is that the adhesive would actually start to um, tack off and skin skin over okay. and then what you get is solvent trapped underneath yeah. that okay so then you don't really get the strength in the bond the strength and integrity of the bond will not be there when we bring these components okay. together so all right so we've, so done, this. we've done that and we've got a couple more, coats, got a couple more coats to do on here yeah so this is a this is a quite a tight corner section we're doing here Carl okay. um, it's worth me mentioning um, at this stage from what I've seen in the market Carl is that um, a lot of guys that are forming these curved sections, okay, are actually um, having an outer, like this larger one here, yeah. around the outside, yeah. but on the internal, they might actually just do a right angle. Oh, really? Yeah. Why is that? Okay, but um, what Kingspan have told me, okay, is that this is the preferred method, is doing an internal radius. Why do they not do that? Um, simpler, easier. Yeah, uh, so it's a bit of a cut a corner to, to use the pun. Yeah, um, but the point is, is this is the preferred method, and this adhesive will allow them to do it much easier. But uh, is what you uh, am I hearing right then that basically the, the other reason why they're not doing it like this is because the adhesives that they're currently using in a brush apply don't actually allow them to hold the tight oh, side. Totally, that's okay. exactly what I'm coming to. Yeah. Okay. So this is the preferred method. This is the way that guys need to be going. So I'm just putting my uh, my last coat on this on this face now. And. Did you say this is this is actually approved by Kingspan? Yeah, so like I say, we've been working for a long time with Kingspan to get this um, this product approved. So H30 is H sorry H H40 is a, is a Kingspan approved product. Okay, so it's been endorsed, tested extensively. Okay, this is unique to the, the, the as a product to the Kingspan um, range, though, right? Totally. Okay, yeah. so this is a, a new addition. This is a development yeah, a product. That development you, product. That created to go along with this material. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so, so I'll sure place that. It's, um, it's got some good tack, it? it has. So basically, obviously, what we've allowed on average in between those layers, we would have allowed maybe thirty seconds, something like that, in between those coats. Mm -hmm. But what is important now is that we do just give it another three or four minutes to tack off. Yeah. Now, probably the the first 
face yeah. that had the last coat, yeah. if that's making sense. Yeah. It's probably had that tackle yeah. time already, but the last bit I've sprayed here hasn't. So can we just literally, like, just to speed up the process for the sake of all our viewers, yeah, yeah. can we just, like, you know, give it a bit of air just to sort of, like, yeah. speed up the process? Totally. Totally, yeah. Quite good fun doing this, actually. It is. Great fun. Feel the fun. Okay, so... I think, I mean, now, it, it, so it is critical though that the, this here is not um, sort of like coming off on your fingers at all when you're touching on the back of your hand, right? Totally. So the, the, this three to four minutes is going to mean that when you touch it with your hand, you're going to feel some tack, yeah. okay? Not a massive amount of tack, but it shouldn't be transferring onto your fingers. That's, that's the key point, okay? And it's worth mentioning, obviously, that conventional methods that are hand applied, hand brushed, yeah. they could be sitting around for a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes, okay? Um, it could be hanging around for a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes. It always happens when um, you're trying to like do, a, do a video or something. Yeah, that was, that was pretty clever, Carl, I'll give you yeah. that, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh well. Okay. Right, okay, so well, what I was just going to say is obviously the tack off time of some of these um, hand applies yeah. is significant. So this three to four minutes is still a massive time saving, okay? And the integrity of the bond when they're putting it together with the hand applied is that they still might have to use clamps and, and tape straight away, even just to tackify it. Whereas this is the benefits of this. So, okay. so what are you going to show me now? Is what I'm going to what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to get one of the one of the uh, one of the flat pieces. I'm going to take the internal curve first. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, obviously a bit of a master at this. Actually. I wouldn't have said that. But we're going to give it a good shot. <laughs> okay. So pre-stressed. Okay. So you we, actually need to pre-stress yep, these to actually very much remove so. the tension. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. So you can see this this V groove we've got ended up here now. Can you make sure that's just flush on the end for the yeah, aircar? Yeah, yeah. Right, and then I'll bend it into the corner like that, and I've got it lining up nicely at this end here. Sweet, it's okay. Got some serious grab, isn't it? So there we go. Look at that, and we've got a, we've got. I mean, we're giving that some welly there. Okay, so you can see straight away you've got a good bit of um, a good bit of grab. Now, what we'll do now is we will just crack on and put the you put, put this the. One first? Um, is that what you normally do? so that you can actually place it in or how do they normally do it? I've seen people do it both ways, okay. to be honest. Okay. So um, you would in, in this situation, we'll do it your way, all right? Okay. Now, one thing also, if um, one of the crew could just grab me um, out of that cardboard box over there, there's a, like a, a black blade for smoothing over the a spatula, as they call it, in the, in the game. So again, we'll just place this right on the edge there. This is like an interesting tool. Okay. Is this a Kingspan tool? It is a Kingspan tool. Okay. What do they call this? They call it a spatula, I believe. Which way do you use it? That way. This way? Yeah, that's right, Carl. You got it. Pretty cool. To be fair, Roberto at Kingspan, he's put a lot of thought into this system. Um, he's their um, head technical ducting manager there. Um, worked very closely with him. So what's the idea? What, what, sorry, so what are you meant to do with this? So, this here now, okay. Can we put this on first before that. Happens? I want to get I want to get some strength into these okay. joints over okay. here. So the point of this here, okay, is that I'm now going to go around around the joints, okay. So I'll get it so the camera can see it a bit better. But I'm going to now just support this slightly, and I'm going to be going on both faces, okay. But I'm going to do this one first, and I'm just pushing it in, okay, okay round yeah. into the corner so like that's that. Basically, amalgamating the two faces. Together. Exactly, and then I'm going to do the same on the top face, okay, and then. What one of the cool duct fab, um, delivery partners told me is that you go round on the on the angle as well, okay. because then when you put the tape on, because when you put the tape on the foil tape, it won't skag and tear. Okay, okay. so we've smoothed the face over. Okay, All right. So, so I'm now going to I'm going to flip that over, and as you can see, I've got a piece here which is not falling to bits. I can, yeah, yeah. this is this is good. To, this is good to go. So I can now do the same on this face here. Down on the top, just bring it together and then joint up the middle. Alright? Fantastic. Oh, got a nice bit on my coat there. Okay. Yeah, everybody wants one, don't they, Carl? Yeah, right. Is this a two man job or can it be a one man job? But it could be a five. Could, it's good fun, so it's some type of five man job. They're all crowding around yeah? okay. until the until the. Uh, got this corner on here. Fantastic. I'm just pulling this round. I'm just going to ensure as I go that I'm uh, coming round to here. So we can swivel this round for the camera a little bit. Yeah. You can see I've got good contact there straight away. And then we'll give Carl a go with this. Right. I'll do this half. So okay, so round there. First time I've ever done this thing. Okay, so. There we go. And then if you can do the top. Give this a crack. So put the old hand in there. Do you want to go around? Yeah, that's good, yeah. 
you can push it that way as well. Yeah. It's quite a nice tool. It's a good tool, isn't it? Made for the job. Get it on the corner. It's fantastic. And then we'll spin her over. Can I have a go with this one as well? You certainly can, Carl. So like I say, um, a few, maybe a few fizzy facts on the product, okay? Um, H40 is a low VOC product, okay? It's a non-chlorinated um, formulation, non-MECL, okay? It's, um, it's uh, Californian compliant, it's lead and reach compliant in all its um, raw materials that are c contained in it. Um, and like I say, there are delivery partners already out there proving the benefit of this, um, of this system. Um, and there we go. There's a complete um, section there. Okay, so we've got about maybe a 250, 300. If I was using a brush, yeah. the brush is adhesive on. Um, is it easy to use that brush, or is it a really thick adhesive? I've never seen this stuff. So. Yeah, the, the, it's, um, the viscosity of it. I mean, the nature of it is it's, it is a very thick material. Okay, is it, and it's also does very. It on quite fast, it? No, it doesn't. As I said it's earlier, I mean, it's very slow, and it, obviously it fluctuates according to the temperature and environment and humidity, that kind of thing. Um, um, which so is this, this is which a lot is, more which, yeah. This is a lot more. Um, what should I say? Um, it's a lot more versatile and user friendly in, in the workshop production environment. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna allow, soak up those um, those extremes in temperature and that kind of thing a lot a lot easier so than the hand of light. For this job, okay, it's simply a canister, a gun and a hose, a gun and hose, and that connects to that. And there's also a video that we're, we're going to shoot at some point yep. showing the the way that the gun and hose goes together. Exactly. So that's going to be good for the guys. And so we need a canister, gun and hose, um, and also I see you've got aerosols there as well. Yep. And obviously critical that you need one of these really or something like this. Yeah, Helps this is, yeah. So and uh, we're good to go on that? So. Does that tell everybody what the, that we, uh, we want them to know if you're actually making a successful curve and using exactly the same process, what you're saying is use exactly the same process, okay. even if we're doing a square duck. So even on a, on a straight duck cow, so um, on, a, on a straight section, typically obviously you've got the, 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 the pieces out flat okay. and you've got um, the fabricators, the, the delivery partners have got the, the, the tooling for cutting V-grooves. Okay. So essentially you've got one flat panel with a series of V-grooves in it and you're just folding it up. Okay. okay? So you're spraying the V-grooves along so the way. it's not cut right through the foil? No. So basically there's a V-groove into it and it's, yeah. it kind of moves and then yeah. you basically spray the joint. You fold it around the four sides, okay. yeah, and you spray all the V-grooves and the final two faces to bring them together. Okay. Piece of cake. Awesome. Thank you very much, Dan. Thank you. Thanks.